Okay, so you can't look at me weird because I know for a fact that every one of you that has vistas tried to choke the hell out of it at one point or another. It's slow and it's going to frustrate you. So before you go ahead and try to choke the hell out of your vista again, why don't you take a look at step four of 99 ways to make your computer faster. So welcome to another episode of Rogue 7 Tech Support. Today we're going to be talking about how to increase your computer speed by adjusting the performance of your hard drive and by decreasing the amount of services you have running at one time on your Vista computer. So without further ado, let's take a look at what we do. Alright, so the first thing you're going to do is go down to your start menu and locate where it says computer on the right hand side. You're going to right click and go to manage. This will bring up your computer management snap-in launcher. In the left-hand pane, you're going to click, double-click device manager, and then locate your disk drives in the middle pane, and expand this option. On your main hard drive, you're going to right-click, go to properties, and under policies, you'll see some options. By default, most hard drives are optimized for performance and enable write caching on the disk, but have enabled advanced performance disabled. So we're going to enable this. I'm going to give you a warning though. Um, you should only enable this if you have a reliable power source uh, and don't have any faulty connections to your home's power supply. Because uh, if you do lose power to the disk, it can delete a lot of valuable data. So make sure you have a valuable or a reliable power source. After we're done with that, we're going to go back to our start menu this time we're going to type in msconfig and hit enter. This will bring up our system uh, configuration utility and go to the services tab. Now I'm going to give you uh, a short list of things that you can disable safely. You can also do research on your own and find others that you might not need on your computer and can disable. Uh, but we're just going to stick to our short list. First one you can disable is computer browser. browser. This isn't anything important that your computer uses so you can go ahead and disable that if you'd like. You're going to scroll down and find IP Helper. You're going to disable that. KTMRM for Distributed Transaction Coordinator you can disable. You scroll down some more. You can disable Remote Access Auto Connection Manager and the Remote Registry. You can disable Smart Card and the smart card removal policy. You can also disable secondary logon. You're going to scroll down. You can disable telephony. And you're going to scroll down. And if you do not have uh, parental controls enabled, you can get rid of that as well. You're going to hit apply and then OK. And it will give you the restart warning, but you're not going to do that right now. Uh, we're going to take care of one more pesky thing in Vista. You go to your control panel this time, and where it says user accounts and family safety, you're going to click there, and then click on user accounts. And right here it says turn user account control on or off. Every time you use an administrative program, it pops up the window that makes you confirm it. Now if that's annoying you, or slowing down your computer, you can disable it here by unchecking this box, and then hitting OK and you can go ahead and restart now if you would like. Alright, so that's going to do it for today. If you like my work, please rate, comment, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Until next time, this is Jeff with the Rogue 7 Tech Support, waiting, bidding you farewell.